She's something of a rebel, but also, as she puts it, a dolly. Yet another dancehall act raising her profile via TikTok and dancing her way to fame and fortune. She lives and breathes TikTok, and her dance uploads make money. But before that... My dream was to always become a gynecologist. You know, when you're in primary school, you want to be all of the big things. I want to be a doctor, pilot. But magically, I wanted to become a gynecologist. <laughs> I don't know. And when did it occur to you that it wasn't going to be gynecology? In high school, when I entered Dancing Dynamite, and we used to have like I stayed further and them something there. And when I come out, the people that must scream, I'm make people feel me. I say, yeah, I'm mid days. I was introduced to Dancing Dynamite by Triple X, and then that's where I met Ramesh, moved to Brownstone, Promo Girl. Built a social media following around reality shows like Dancehall Life and Social House was also a dancer for Spice. That was where we get the big look, the get free right there. So we started to do promo for her in dancer. We traveled to small islands, Europe. We did a lot of video shoots. So big up Grace Avatar Spice. Anyway, I tell you, big up you, because you work with the gate for the dance. Working with Spice, we went to actual festivals. Thousands of people. I've never experienced that before on my own, but with Spice, definitely. But left to do her own thing after a heated back and forth over something or other, about which less said. Not talking about it, I decide not to. So, Rebel, is that just the name you chose or does it sum you up? It sums me up, my image, you know, all about the badness, you know, it always speak and all of that, so yeah, basically. Basically, it's all about the moves. I can feel sad today and I just create a choreo based on how I feel. If I feel happy, I do just the same. What role has TikTok played in your life? TikTok has played a massive role in my life to be somewhat, somewhat popular and people who love you can just randomly send you gifts and it, it is actual money that feels good. TikTok is a whole platform that makes things go viral actually. So from dancing there, your videos would go viral, you get more and more popular, you would get bookings, real money is over there and I think it's a life-changing platform and everybody should just hop on it. Right now, Anthony is a choreographer slash beggar. So the people them out, they will see it as begging, grab on a seat, on a game chair. If people favor the people will gift, you know, it, it actually create a whole heap of opportunities, so yeah. And relationships are also built on TikTok. Me look at my friend Cicely, we go <laughs> Yeah, so TikTok is not all about begging. It's an actual family, it's an actual community. And based on TikTok earnings, have you treated yourself to anything nice? Uh... Apart from a new boyfriend? <laughs> Apart from a new boyfriend? Of course, I've treated myself, but I don't think I've treated myself enough. But with what I've earned, I always give back. I give back a lot. <laughs> And this notion of being a dolly. You're a dolly? Yes, I am a doll. Why would you want to be a dolly? Because dolls are beautiful. They might say we're stationary, but dolls are cute. Why not be a dolly? It can be anything I want. I'm a rebel. You're Anthony. I can be a doll. I can be whatever I want. Is it high maintenance being a doll? Being a woman overall is high maintenance. <laughs> so to get your hair done, hygienic stuff, your nails done, all of that. So it's better to be a doll more than you're in a party and the selector is like, hey girl, skin out. When now you're coming out and party, the doll them arrive. You know that give you a little boots of confidence, you can be a thick dolly, slim dolly, all kind of dolly, so we're right at the doll. And unapologetic about a certain aspect of her doll makeover. I didn't have them, you know. I was kind of, <laughs> hey! We never really have no boobs, and I'm buy them. 
go buy them, cause the girls are with the flat chest. Don't worry now. Love on yourself just the same, but look at enhancement for myself. Better about me. But if you have flat chest and you love it, keep that. Active, active. No. Every girl get active. Get here. active. What's the big difference between the dance scene as it applies to the guys and the dance scene as it applies to the girls like you? Look at Ding Dong. He has been flourishing for years. Why? Because he's always thinking out of the box. Ding Dong always keeps up. And I think some of the dancers need to do that and be consistent. Not because one thing does not work for you, that means you stop. But are they making as effective use of TikTok as women like you? No, they aren't, because nobody wants to be seen as a beggar. Well, I'm a beggar and a dancer, so... If you don't want to join the boat and actually accomplish something from it, use me as an example. I am a well-known choreographer. I do make money. And if I can sit in my chair and Ask people to tap my screen and say my roses and lions on the double. What are you doing? I have no shame in the game. It's money. Thank you. But back in the day, a dancer couldn't get the sort of attention you're getting right now. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't be creating this space that you're creating on TikTok. What changed and when did it change? Technology overall, what I think is most person's problem, they don't, they don't keep up. Why are you not on TikTok? Why are you still on Facebook? Bums. Bums. And give me a name, somebody or a song that really puts you in the groove. My friend, of course, Pretty Pretty. She has um, Want A Real G, a girl song, check it out on her Vivo. Problem, problem, problem. When I hear that, Ed Post, you know, other from that ding dong, spicy out the mix, okay? You know, say she are all about the broke coat and the head up and the things, them. And you want her to forgive you? No. Bums. Bum to Anthony, man. Bum to Anthony. But anyway, go on. Anthony is so unserious. Go on, Murder. go on. What was your routine like this week? You came up with a choreo for somebody, some dance that you know yes. you're going to upload it to was TikTok soon. Crafts around behavior. So that is my new viral video. Not to give me the dance, but to show me what it looks like very briefly. Oh, is that again? Yeah, man, just give me a, a, a move. on a roll thanks to TikTok, but would she have done anything different? Work smarter, not harder. Being into in entertainment, the first thing I would not Bums. do is date my co-worker, Bums. like artists. I would never Bums. do that. Dancers, do not Bums. be affiliated with your co-workers. You regret that? Yes. It's something that you don't want to just stick on you. Bums. And worse when you don't want certain things to stick on your worse when it don't come with anything good, you know? So it's like that. Sometimes you just want to walk freely, like, see, when you the girlfriend there, eh, you're like, oh God, you know where all of that come with. You understand? So yeah, I would definitely fix that. Where else is there to go? Um, Anthony, I'm gonna touch the plate. So let's see what happens if I get to go to America. But other than that, I've toured Europe, I went to Israel. So it's always more and more happening. But you know, we want to see the big apple. We all get up in our age, so you know, so we don't really want to dance for the rest of our life. I've always wanted a studio. That has to happen for me. A dance studio? Yes, a dance studio that is. And I would also like to go in sales. I, I love money, you know, Anthony. <laughs> love money, so I would go into sales. Something with probably like sell cars. Those are my toys. That's TikTok Dancing Doll Rebel in party mode November 24th at the Stadium Car Park. <laughs> <laughs>